Un momento, mira. Primero, Feliz Navidad, compas. Segundo, subscribe to Seti Nash. You feel me? That's the second thing you gotta do. Tercero, follow me on Instagram at C E D D Y N A S H. So, I see Lil Pump dissing Eminem and everything like that, and Royce the Five Nine saying. <laughs> You know, basically, he ain't did nothing and stuff like that. I believe there's room in the rap game for one-hit wonders and then longevity. But there ain't no rap game in. There ain't no room in the rap game for this shit that's going on with the younger generation dissing the mess out of the older generation, bro. And what I mean is this. This shit called clout, bro. It's going to stop getting people killed. And you're going to start seeing a lot of these rappers get the hell beat out of them on camera. And then it's going to escalate the further. Because what's going to happen is... I've seen and I've done security for some of these rappers, bro. They tiny as hell. 5'8", 5'9", 170, 180 pounds or shit like that. Bro, I'm 6'3", 280 pounds, bro. I will smash one of you little rappers. And that's a shot at that little buster talking shit and everything like that. But you, you other rappers, bro, y'all need to chill out with all this dissing. I've never seen no generation of rappers diss the hell out of the old rappers like this one. I can't recall 50 Cent and Snoop or uh, Scarface or, you know what I'm saying, Big Daddy Kane or, or none of that shit, cuz, none of that shit. What's gonna happen is you young rappers running that mouth, y'all gonna understand what grown man strength is Y'all keep dissing. Lil Pump, you just trying to stay relevant. At this point in time, the little Trump shit you did backfired. He called you Lil Pimp. He had you in his face, spoke to you, and didn't even know your goddamn name. That's who you should have dissed. But see, when you over here climbing the mountain, uh, trying to stay relevant and everything like that, cuz, that's the type of shit you do. Deluxe albums don't really sell like that any goddamn ways. So when everybody hollering Eminem numbers, you couldn't do Eminem numbers with the worst shit he put out. So what the fuck are you talking about? And you're a major artist. So if anybody go, oh, well, Seti Nash, you a rapper. You can't do those numbers. You goddamn right I can't. Because I'm not a signed artist. But I tell you this, I make, you know, a couple of hundred every goddamn month off of music. That I do. Yeah, I do. But come on, bro, this this clout shit that y'all doing is going to get y'all fucked up. For real. You, you better shut that mouth, bro. Because Eminem got real people behind him. Real people. That'll beat your ass behind him. And I guarantee you, you ain't got the level of crazed-ass fans that he got. So there you go. But watch your goddamn mouth. I'm not threatening you or nothing like that because I'm saying watch your words. Because these people that you playing with, Somebody got crazy ass fans that'll throw bottles at you at your next show if you even do another show. And am I dissing right now? Hell yeah. Because I'm sick of seeing this shit, bro. You ain't, like they say, bro, you ain't got nothing nice to say. Shut the fuck up.